close square bracket we first made a change to the title and made it a simple accounting to ensure that we are at the right definition what do you want to do what modification do you want to do at the gateway of tally we want to add what do you want to add key item what is the item name first tdl what is the key for this f what do you want to do display what do you want to display first report now this is a declaration that when i click enter on this my report will get open it's a declaration so we need a definition of this report definition so report open square bracket report definition type now here please note we are not putting a hash because it is a new report this does not exist in default tally only if it exists in default tally you need to say hash report colon first tdf report close square bracket now what does a report contain form the form name now again it's a declaration so we will define this form colon first tdf form what does a form contain part and the part name first tdl part this is a declaration that this part form will use this part or will call this part so we define this part a part contains line so here we declare the line and the line name so now this part will be calling this line now we need to define this line now a line contains field so we declare the field name and we need to define the field and field is where you display your data right now the tdl is already attached with this application so you can press f12 product and features f4 and you can just re-accept the screen to refresh your TDL while your application is already executed. And now when you come to Gateway of Tally, you will see at the bottom, after the quit, first TDL has been added. F has been, has been made red because that's my hot key, the shortcut key, the uh, key for the item when we press enter here welcome to the world of tdl clear uh, definitely you will have some questions to this is it necessary to write report for the report definition absolutely not but you have to ensure what you write here is what you define here what you declare is what you have to define so definitely the form the writing of these definition type is not mandatory but since we are the beginners for writing the tdl we have specified the definition type along with the name so we uh, as a beginner we do not mess up writing or doing something wrong so this is what it is shown and this is the output of that code uh, have you noticed on the top left panel my report name is shown as my definition type name so as we can give a title to a menu we can also give a title to a form we can give a title to a report and we can give hello tdl save the file 
go back to tally application escape f12 product and features f4 enter enter accept your tdl is refreshed escape escape first tdl and on the left hand corner you see the title has changed so if you don't provide the title the name of the definition type is being taken as the title if you provide uh, the title it will be taken as that particular title simple to write and simple to understand it's the logical questions that we need to ask right so we have been successfully written our first basic TDL. We have done this, right? Now uh, we have seen how to create a file. We can specify it in TINI or uh, for customers. You can either specify in tally.ini file or from the tally application screen. Uh, well, there is a new aspect also. Uh, you can uh, do it through control center. Please refer to tally help reference manual to understand how do you attach a TDL to a customer's account and not from the INI as uh, when you are adding it to an INI the file has to be physically placed into the customer system. However, it is, if it is through the account of that particular customer, mm -hmm. then you can, uh, then it is abided with the customer's license and any damage or physical loss to the uh, system will not uh, lose the INI file. In fact, wherever the customer activates his license, the TDL file will get activated. So please ensure that you go through the account TDL sesh, uh, section that we have provided in Tally ERP9 folder, right? And right now what we have done is we have added the text file as it is. So this text file is uh, readable even in notepad. As you can see the symbol that you see is the notepad. So even if I don't have a tally developer, this file can be opened and written in a notepad. However, we do write in tally developer as you have already seen the benefit of writing in tally developer. So we have opened the text editor, we have created a new file. We wrote the TDL code, we have saved the code, and we have attached it to the TD, uh, INI. This is what we have already shown. You can go to the tally application folder. There is a file called tally.ini. Open the text file. User TDL is equal to yes. And TDL is equal to give the file path name with the extension and the file is ready to use for the customer or you can go to tally uh, application f12 the configuration button go to product and features on the right hand side you will see there is an f4 button manage local tdls then you will have option set uh, you have an option load tdls on startup set it to yes and when it is asking for the file name, you can provide the file name. The moment you accept, it will be shown on your tally screen and at the local area. If you are adding it through account TDL, it will be shown as account, which means physically the file is not present. It is abide with the customer's license. And we have seen the output. In the tally application and there's a new option in gateway of tally menu now we will learn uh, before going ahead with more details of TDL we will learn few functions and features of tally developer 9 well, we will not do it in too much detail as we have already provided